to be up. You should be able to see a screen that says how to find trades in an unpredictable environment. All right. I see all the see the hearts. Awesome. I love it. Okay, gang. Thanks for joining us. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right. Thank you for joining me this evening. For those who don't know, my name is Raggy Horner. I can be found in the Sector Secrets Mastery and in the Futures Room right here at Simpler. Whether you're new to trading or have been trading for a long while, right? tonight's conversation is for you. We're going to be addressing the big question. Where are the trades in this market? Okay, so let's get to it. Yep, everything's good. Technology is awesome, is it not? All right. So let's kick it off. Do you feel like the markets are very different than they were in 2021? 2020, did you find that your PL wasn't what you had hoped for by the end of 2022? Are you feeling a little bit of whiplash for sure for the last few years? Are you struggling to find trades with follow through? We're going to talk about follow through quite a bit tonight. Or are you just losing money? You've gone back to the office. I know a lot of us are getting back to life pre-2020, going back to the office and you don't have time to day trade or you just don't like day trading, but you can't find a clear direction in your swing trades. Not to worry, gang. I've been trading for nearly 35 years and except for the pandemic, I can tell you this for sure. I have seen all kinds of markets, including what we are seeing here today. All right. So how many can relate to, to these things? Yes. Been there. Yeah. All right. What asset class? This is a huge one, gang. What asset class is tonight's conversation suitable for? Three options, stocks and futures. What we are talking about tonight works in all these asset classes. So maybe the question is, how can that be, Rog? Let me show you how we're finding great opportunities right now. All right. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to the world of short term swing trading. Right. We aren't seeing the follow through we need for traditional swing trading. Right. Trades that would last several days, maybe several weeks to even months. Those are the good old days. Short term swing trades are trades that are held for a minimum of one day to several days, a handful of days. Right. Shortening that time frame. Today's market is extremely unpredictable, right? You're no duh, Rog. <laughs> it's better to have reasonable expectation in days, not so much with weeks. Short-term swing trading is where we are finding the follow-through that we need by shortening our time frame. First thing you might want to write down, gang, the one hour or the daily chart is where we are looking to find structure and opportunities. Yes, and I'm going to cut myself here because... I realize that I'm over the slides and that's no fun. So there we go. I'll, I'll be back. <laughs> I'll be back. So the one hour in the daily chart is where we are looking to find structure and opportunities. It is the right strategy for what we are seeing right now, right? Success is possible despite the chaos that we are seeing. All right. So what are, what are, clients saying what are other traders saying these are not my words right these are not my words you can see a lot of feedback here on this slide while i've been trading for nearly 35 years i may not be a really fair measure but this is what some members are saying about the short-term swing trades that they've taken right the style we're going to talk about tonight by the way these results are not guaranteed in any way but like most things if you keep practicing and find a solid teacher the odds are most definitely in your favor, right? And I love this, right? My account has come a long way. I love the process. I love the progress. I'm up 17.49% so far. Um, I'm up 5% on my account. I'm up 10% this month. It's glorious, right? That's what we are all looking for. All right, so how can that be? How can those results be in this market? Well, frankly, you need the right tools, a toolkit, of indicators that are working together to give you clarity and direction. Have tools that tell you when to buy, when to sell, or really important gang, how do you know when to stay out of a trade? Have a system that is time tested and objective, right? That's huge. Understand which strategy should be used and when. And as an added bonus, 
<laughs> have something that is automated and color coded, right? That's what we're going to talk about tonight. That's why you're here. We're going to jump right into what those tools are and how you could use them as well. So let's go get it. Yeah. All right. First chart. We love charts around here, don't we? This is a one hour chart. This is one of those time frames that is definitely a needle mover. So introducing the one hour chart and what a chart looks like when we put all the tools, that toolkit together. Each piece gives us an objective view of what we need to be looking at. I'm sure it seems like a lot right now, but don't worry. It will all come together in our time here. We'll talk about each one. So this is an actual trade I took in gold. So let's look at the time frame first, the one hour. Why? The one hour is nimble. We can take a trade overnight for better follow through without the need for that longer term follow through that we came, you know, became pretty accustomed to that. Short term swing trading. Yes. Trades held one day to maybe a few days, one to a handful of days, right? Maybe a week or two at best. This strategy has been very effective in 2022 and so far in 2023. This strategy and the tools are not for those who like to trade longer time frames, but aren't getting the structure they need to take the trades in this environment, right? By the way, this is not day trading. Let me repeat, this is not day trading. We're using the one hour because it slows the market down and makes setups more accessible to traders who cannot watch the charts all day. Who here can't do that anymore, right? But you still can keep tabs on the positions, right? Who's thinking, yeah, Rob, that's kind of where I'm at. All right, so here's how the trade played out on the one hour. So first of all, a 1945 short, right? A 1945 short, right in there. Target to a target one at 1934, right about there for a hundred points. By the way, everything I'm doing is very, very much part of a methodology, right? So that was a hundred dollars a point or $1,100 to the target. And then if you get down to target two at 1920, right in there, that's, an, that's 25 points or $2,500 per contract. So that's an example on gold. Let's take a look at another example. All right. So as we kind of move through these charts here, again, we're going to use progression. So the next part we need to look at that I know so many of you have been waiting for is the daily price movement range or that DPMR, right? Daily price movement ranges, gang, are here as of tonight. DPMR is the way that I decode volatility of a symbol. We hear that word a lot, don't we? That means I can see support and resistance based on one, historical volatility patterns, and two, the day of the week, specific to the day of the week. In other words, gang, with these, we can see trades without, well, think of it this way. I can see trades measuring with a measuring stick, right? Volatility is our measuring stick. Without that, without something like DPMR, folks can't see it. Right? So in this case, that 1945 short, to the 1934 target, you can see exactly where they are highlighted. Yes, that's what the DPMR can do. Now, this is really cool. And, I, and I've been waiting to talk about some of these things uh, with you all for a while. The fun and profitable fact about DPMRs, DPMRs have a 68% chance of probability. Those zones have a 68% chance of probability. It's right in terms of accuracy 68% of the time. A common question I get is, Rog, okay, I see the tool on your screen, but what's your win rate? In the past about 10 and a half, 11 months of testing, the DPMR indicator with, with knowing what time frame is working today, my win rate has been 72%. Now, if I know DPMRs are right 68% of the time, and I watch objectively to what the DPMRs are saying and follow its lead, right, I end up with being right 72% of the time. The proof is when we let our tools do the work, we will probably end up on the right side of the trade. That's the whole point, right? Okay, so this strategy is scalable. Huge, huge, huge word. If you trade an account with $5,000 or $50,000 or $100,000 or heck a million dollars, everything we are talking about is what you will need. 
tools and strategies should not change depending upon your size, your account size, right? The only thing that changes is how many contracts you can and should trade. The profit per contract needs to be multiplied by how many contracts you have, right? And this is also where the risk conversation comes in. But that's a conversation we'll cover another time. Think of it this way. A very common question I get is how much money do I need to trade? From my experience, myself and, and hundreds, if not thousands of traders, account minimums, $5,000 for trading options the way I do it, $7,500 for futures, right? Very common question that I get. What do I need to get started, right? So let's get back to the charts. All right. So in this case, you know, we've talked about the value of the DPMRs and the one hour chart. So let's take a look at what would have happened to those trades if we didn't have the daily price movement range. Imagine looking at a chart just like this. Without the DPMRs, I cannot see the yellow and green zones, uh, gray zones that told me when to buy and short. I can't see them. There's no lines in the road, right? Most traders would have bought near the highs, right? Think about what most traders do. They see momentum moving higher, right? They see a few candles. This is a one hour chart, by the way. And then, oh yeah, this is where I need to buy only to see that happen. How many folks have seen that before, right? That would have bought near the highs or they would have shorted thinking we're going to see follow through down through the lows. And what happened? Boom, we bounced. So what happens here is, again, most traders would have bought near the highs and then only to have seen an abrupt shift that likely caused a loss of money, right? So you think about what most traders do. They see a surge, they buy, boom, the market turns back around. Very common scenario, sadly. So let's take a look at another chart. This is Amazon, super popular chart. So what are the other tools that are on here? Let's talk about the tools and what they can do for you. So use, when we use these kinds of tools, let's talk about the 34 EMA wave. These are these moving averages right in here. It's a 34 period exponential moving average on the high, the close and low. I know a lot of you know them. It tells us where dynamic support and resistance is in a trend. All right, what about the color coded grab candles, G-R-A-B, right? You see the green, see the red, see the blue. That stands for green, red, and blue, by the way. And these candles tell us if we're bullish or bearish or neutral. So really easy color coding. Propulsion dots. You can see these dots right in here. Okay, this gives us a better moving average, exponential, by the way, better moving average based support and resistance. They're better than moving averages, by the way. So rather than having a moving average there, we use those propulsion dots. Darvis 2.0, one of my absolute favorite tools. You can see them here with the yellow lines on this chart, right there. This gives us quick, accurate, and automated support and resistance. So what did I do in this Amazon chart? I bought calls for $4.75, exited just a couple days later for a nice short-term swing, exited at $9.55, for a 2x winner, $480 per contract. Yes. Here's the important part, $125 of risk, right? That's why we put that trade on. It's a one hour example of Amazon. Okay. So some of this might sound familiar and I'm glad it does. It should. We've spoken about a lot of these tools, these indicators for years. This is always, gang, the foundation. You don't need a foundation that we build from. The 34 EMA wave, grab candles, Darvis 2.0, propulsion dots. These are collectively referred to as TOPS. Now, the acronym TOPS, for those of you that may not know the story, was born from an introduction of my tools to the simpler community a few years back in 2017. And it stood for totally obnoxious profit strategy. I'll show you why in a moment. For now, let's look at the chart above these chart charts side by side that shows us life with and without tops. Now, a couple of things to notice, look at the color of the candles, right? Whether they be red and green or you're using the black and white candlesticks, look at how much more detail we get. If I didn't have these foundational tools, I would not have been able to identify a trend, support, 
resistance, right? TOPS gives us a time-tested process-driven approach to be able to apply the strategy for the current market environment. It takes the guesswork out. That's what we all want. It takes that guesswork out. It makes your trading more systematic. So while other traders are panicking or FOMOing in and out of the market haplessly, you know when to be patient and when to trade. So these indicators are essential to every trade. You're going to see them on my charts all the time. If you don't get this part right, the rest probably won't be either. That foundation is that important. This means losing money, blowing up accounts and so on. So let me show you a chart that was the reason for the totally obnoxious profit strategies. This tops name. Here we go. A time tested process. Yes. All right. So what you see here is the euro. All right. So back in 2017, when the euro was climbing, I put on a euro trade that was simply what I call surfing the wave. The idea was really simple. Know when I have a trend and when to follow it. There's your 34 EMA wave just crossing that chart. So know when you have a trend and follow it. Not fighting the flow, but rather using it because the tools make the flow color coded and the levels are automated. So from May 8 to September 25, the euro traveled over a thousand ticks. Now, for those who are not familiar with the euro, each tick in the euro is $6.25. And this was then over $6,000 per contract. Like I said, totally obnoxious. This approach still works today. All right. So where do we get in? Really automated. Stick with the green, buy the dip. Stick with the green, buy the dip. Even up in here, stick with the green, buy the dip. Right. And that's the 34 EMA wave at work. There's more here on this chart that gave me confidence. We'll get to that. So let's see what the euro is doing today. Right. The euro trend today. It's a big story, gang, because it's, it's a story that's involving the U.S. dollar. So here's a euro uptrend that began on November 17 of 2022. And yes, we can get that specific about the date of an uptrend and when it's valid. It's still moving higher and we're still surfing the wave. Looking at grab candles, Darvis and propulsion dots. This has been my foundation gang for decades because it simply works. It's easy to see, period. Another great thing about these tools is that they can be incorporated with other tools that you already have and like. It doesn't have to change anything you're doing other than, well, increasing a lot of accuracy. So let's take a look at some other tools that are helping me make decisions right now. All right, so we're focusing on clear signals to enter a trade, right? So here, notice that each indicator is building upon another. And like I said, visually, it might be a little much at first but once you know what each tool does you're gonna see each tool has a function collectively right and collectively is the reason for our success in today's market so two indicators that i haven't spoke about is the sector slow stow that's down in here and the multi-trend and that's those two rows of colors down there in this trade the sector slow stow the sector slow stochastic along with the multi-trend, those two rows of colors, both found at the bottom of this chart, you can see right there that I've highlighted, they showed us that at the far right edge, it's time to look right in here for oversold support buys. All right, so notice, and it's a little hard to see because the, the snapshot I have of this chart when I was taking it, but those arrows there are the signals showing us that the buy setup is valid. You don't have to wait for the arrows, but they are there. So with that, we do not have to be uncertain about buying opportunities and that account killing environment called shop. A lot of folks have trouble with this kind of environment, right? We don't. We can identify when the market specifically transitioned to chop. Look at that really crisp transition from green to yellow. We can be that specific and know the day, the specific day or hour or minute that we move from one trend to another. In this trade, we had a pullback to 40.10, right back in here. We do this thanks to the 34 EMA wave. Propulsion dots, the sector slow stow. So take a look here, right? All these charts that are on, all these tools that are on here, what am I putting together? Wave, right? 
We actually have a Darvis here. Green multi-trend means let's be, a, let's be buyers. Yeah. There's that mean reversion if you like to use that lingo, right? Everything worked together to give us an automated zone. Now, here's the star of the show doing its thing. Look at that DPMR, catching that support, confirming everything. Do you see everything stacking together? When things visually stack together, that increases our confidence, yes? So again, automated zone that works as a mean reversion in a trend. Every one of those things was automated, gang. So we got in at 40.10. And if you took this trade to the first blue, that's neutral, grab candle, and exited at 41.15, right? That's $2,100 per contract, right? From this zone, the first blue grab candle. If taken to the first red candle, right there, the very first one right in here, that grab candle exit would be $1,800. So you have a few choices here. How aggressive do you wanna be on those exits? How aggressive do you wanna be on paying yourself? Yeah, all right. So. What if I want to trade options, right? I've shown you a couple examples, but what if I want to trade options? Because we talked about this works on all asset classes. No problem. Remember we said, right? Everything could be applied to all asset classes. So here's an example of exactly how that works. All right. So I'm going to jump into the SPX, also known as the ES Futures Alternative. Many traders prefer options over futures. It's always good to have choices, isn't it? Some of you might be saying, oh, yeah, wrong. I, I want those choices. The same rules, the same tools, the same strategies we have been talking about apply to the options, right? Nothing in the analysis changes. What does change is that you get to pick your vehicle of choice, right? So in this case, a lot of folks say, Rog, I really don't want to trade the ES futures. I want to trade the SPX. So Rog, I want to trade the micro, right? So the analysis does not change if I trade the mini S&P the micro S&P or even the SPY ETF. Here with the SPX, right? you can see we had a 100 point move off the DPMRs, a 100 point move. So take a look at where we're highlighted in gray. We were highlighted in gray a couple of times. Yes, highlighted in gray, that's the support. And then we move up from there. And we can start to take profit in the yellow area. So you have choices. Again, how aggressive do you want to be? Look at the green grab candle staying very steady. We didn't even get a red grab candle till here, about 39.75 with entries around 38.50, right? With entries just below 3,900. So think about how you could use this with the SPX. It doesn't have to just be futures, gang. I love trading everything. All right. So let's take a look at that SPX. Without the daily price movement ranges, mm, where's the entry? So let's look at how things would be without the daily price movement ranges. The interesting thing is that when we would be, you know, think about when most people are buying. You know, let's, let's be realistic for a moment. The thing is that when we would be buying, right, you might remember where we were buying, many, if not most traders would see the weakness and be doing what? Well, they'd likely be shorting. Right. So most traders would see that weakness and without the DPMRs, what happened? Whoops. What happened? Ouch. Got it. So they sadly would be shorting. The buy will hit you in the same place as if you were trading the futures contract or the SPY or even the micro. It's applicable to all. We even have more confidence because, well, take a look at these white propulsion dots. We talked about this as that great exponential moving average. It's better than an EMA. So we have even more confidence because the white propulsion dots are sitting there clearly showing us the support in the SPX. And here's a really good tip, gang. If you've got propulsion in your charts, ask yourself, is price above or below it? Because in this case, staying at or above this powerful indicator tells us that we should be bullish, right? So again, the tools work together. Look at the multi-trend. Look at price action north of the propulsion. I like to call that the equator. So while trying to trade the SPX without the DPMRs and without propulsion, it just doesn't give us much clarity. Yes. Remember, these candles are plotting and many, you know, what, what are we looking at? We're plotting 
after it happened. The trend could look really disorganized. The question could be, where do I enter the trade? So again, think about the difference of having the zones lined up versus the zone. It don't even look like the same chart, yeah? That's the edge in the clarity. All right, SPX, let's take the slow stochastic and the multi-trend away. What would have been different in your trade if you didn't have the slow stow in the multi-trend? Right, so instead of seeing the neutral market here, where we would be looking at the slow stochastic for opportunity, instead of seeing that green trend that highlighted in here, we just don't really know, do we? So because I don't have the multi-trend, there's no way I could have seen that bullish or neutral setup. I would have not had any idea that there was even an opportunity for the long side. I probably would have been stuck playing momentum and getting whipsawed like a lot of traders do, right? I would have not seen the DPMR support. I would have not seen the slow stove oversold. And I wouldn't have seen that all important multi-trend signal telling me that I needed to focus on the long side, that I needed to be a buyer. What else would I be missing? I would miss the buying opportunity. And worse, perhaps, as many times it happens, I'd be thinking short, right? Bad idea. That's what happens to so many traders. I would not have had the clarity and the confidence of the daily price movement range support showing me, highlighting that buy zone, all right? So again, think of where most traders would be entering. And usually it's with that momentum, right? Think about it this way, gang. What kind of, what kind of sentiment, thinking, talk, news is accompanying moves like this? It's all bearish and everyone thinks, oh, it's going to keep going down. But again, the DPMR said, nope, there's support here and there's support here, all right? That's the edge. That's the clarity. All right, let's keep going on automated color look i don't know about you all but my vision isn't as great as it was 30 some odd years ago right automation color coding is saving me so in this trade we have the right pieces together again right we know that the daily and the 60 minute that one hour chart are the most effective in today's market again all about follow through the number of opportunities and this is a chart of exxon right the number of opportunities to buy calls in exxon or even by the way sell puts i know some of you like to write premium or buy the shares themselves options collecting credit right on a trade or buying the shares there was a clear signal from october 19th forward well i know a lot of you're saying yeah rog i see that green multi-trend that's pretty easy to see another example of how automating the levels right automating the structure following then that market structure and looking at the colors, right? Look at the green grab candles, makes this strategy suitable for newer traders who are just starting out. Can you follow colors? You know if it's bullish, neutral, or bearish. Seasoned traders who are looking for better outcomes, these colors offer so much confidence and clarity. In this trade with Exxon calls, we went from $6.40 to $14 from 10.17 to 11.7. So just in that short period of time, right in there. You'll notice that some of the examples that we're using here tonight are a few months back, right? We've been testing the DPMRs for, like I said, 10 and a half, I think coming up in 11 months. Checking those measurements, trying to break this, trying to find where, it, where the flaws are, right? Checking the measurements and verifying the accuracy, 11 months of just beating on this. So let's see how the trade plays out when we don't have these tools and strategies. Yes? All right. So charts without the DPMRs, mm, not so good, right? Traders who are struggling would very likely have been buying near the highs. Again, momentum being a very popular way to go because of that surge, this surge in early October, right? It's a Momo trader trap that you can't see without knowing what the market is most likely to do. And look at that little bit of a pullback. Not a ton, but enough to shake a lot of traders out of their positions. That's the difference between a yellow multi-trend, look down here at the bottom, and the green one. Okay. Without price movement ranges being identified, you don't know where the buy the dip opportunity is. Yes, buy the dip is still working, gang. You would have missed out on a symbol with high probability of follow through, right? Now, some extra confidence gets built into the trade thanks to the green multi-trend confirming 
the DPMRs and the buys, right? And that's really a fantastic edge for us, that level of clarity, right? What a difference. Okay. How do I know these tools are the right tools and strategies for today's market? Okay, really simple. Experience, experience, yes? Okay. So pen and paper, by the way, way back when was my best teacher. I started trading in the late 80s without the tech that we have now. I got an in-depth education by having to use pencil and graph paper to understand trends, support, resistance, price, and volume. I used to graph my charts on my father's old engineering graph paper. So fast forward to the 90s and tech started become, you know, getting growing in popularity. That was my opportunity to start automating all that I had learned. Each indicator has been created over the span of years, if not decades, because I identified the information that was most essential to my analysis. I sprinkled in some tech, the foundational tops tools came to life. Fast forward even more tech, right? We got Darvis 2.0, Propulsion Dots, the Sector Slow Stow, Multi-Trend, and then fast forward even more advancements in being able to crunch literally thousands of data points and we have the DPMRs, the daily price movement ranges. I never would have thought it. I, if you told me years back, this is what we would have been able to do automatically, I never would have believed you. So let's take a look at some more trades here. NASDAQ or QQQ. This setup was easy to see. See, yes. Price sunk into the daily price movement range. You can see this gray area. And notice... And this, so here we have, that's the green, right? The green and the wave, beautiful. We know that's an uptrend, but what about here? This is often an account killing part of this chart. So notice here, we had a neutral trend with the yellow, multi-trend, right? Telling us we're in a neutral environment. Here come my slow stochastics, telling us that we were oversold. What is oversold? It means we're at support. This is a repeatable sequence. It works either with futures or the options on the ETF. I bought at 11.650, exited at 12,075. That's this first one over here, right here, gray to yellow. And that's $8,500 per contract. But what if you couldn't take an overnight trade in a NASDAQ futures? A lot of folks can't, yeah, or don't want to. You can buy calls in a QQQ, gang. You can buy calls in the QQQ instead. Those options went from $7.90 to $12.70 for $480 per contract. All right, that's a 60% return. And again, it applied really clearly to both asset classes, the NASDAQ futures and the QQQ ETF, right? The options and the futures. All right. So moving on to another example. So we're going from futures and an ETF example to now stock. We're going to take a look at Coke. So KO, it's a one hour chart right in here. So you notice, look at the time frames we're looking at very specifically, one hours and dailies. In this case, we had a one hour chart and the DPMR helped put us into long puts, right? Paid $1.60 for these things and went down to $2.90 for a dollar 30 winner per contract. Now remember we talked about scalability earlier, right? So ask yourself how many dollar 60 contracts could I have bought? Dollar 30 per contract. Here's what's really important. The risk. We risk 40 cents. That was the risk there. 40 cents. This was an 81% return all because the daily price movement range showed me where the resistance was highlighted quite literally, right? Where to buy puts. And I took the ride down to our automated Darvis 2.0 support level. Look at the structure, gang. So that's Coke. All right, next up, next up. Taking a look at, oh, hang on. <laughs> Coke and clear signals to enter a trade. All right, this is the S&P futures. Let's admit it, gang. Counter trend trading is difficult. It's often done. We don't want to do it, right? Why? Because it's like paddling against the waves. So instead, just ride the wave too short. Let it do the work. 
there really is an effortless feeling to good trading. And the TOPS system does that. So in this case, again, take a look at the way, the structure, the grab candle color, the wave, the DPMRs. These things are stair-stepping up. The wave is moving higher. So all this should start to look really complimentary at this point, yeah? Bought at 41.25, got out at 41.97, 72 points. The S&P futures are $50 per point. That's a $3,600 trade. Let's stick with the trend and why not? Why would I know to do that? Multi-trend gang. Bought at 42.25, exited at 42.80. Another 55 points, another $2,750. Well, let's stick with it. If it ain't broke, yeah, 42.57 to 42.90. Right? Another, another 33 points, $1,650, right? Again, $50 per point on the S&P. By the way, I know we've talked about it, but let me remind everybody, does it have to be the futures? Does it have to be the S&P futures? Of course not. That could have been SPY. That could have been micro. By the way, that could have been SPX on this one hour chart as well. So just don't get, oh, it's just futures. Nope. So let's talk about, well, these alternatives. Daily bond futures. Okay. Well, this is ZB. On September 12th, we went from 32.10. Take a look at these DPMRs. And, and by the way, I'm just showing you trades that I took. I'm sure a lot of you at this point said, Rob, there were a lot of opportunities here. Yeah, I mean, if, if we were here for a few days, we could talk about all the different opportunities on the way down. I'm just plucking out the specific trade that I took. Look at the multi-trend. Look at the resistance of the daily price movement range. We went from 132.10 on September 12th to 125.10 on September 27, so 15 days, $6,781.25 for those who keep in score at home per contract, right? You don't trade futures, no problem. Just like the other example of the S&P could have been SPY or SPX. Well, this one could have been the TLT. The alternative to the ZB long bond futures contract is the TLT ETF, really liquid. It's a great, great, chart to trade if you don't trade bond futures well here's tlt options for you tlt puts so at the same dates 9 12 what do we do well we bought puts for four dollars on 9 27 same dates right we exited them for eight dollars and 30 cents so that's a nice 2x winner dollar 25 risk so the worst case scenario that i was looking at it's so $1.25. This was 107% return. Again, alternative here. And look, and, and again, I'm just plucking out one example. I'm sure a lot of you are saying, Rob, it was about a half dozen examples or more. As this chart headed lower, I'm sure a lot of you are looking at the multi chart right now saying, Yep, I get it. I can see why I want to be a short seller. And then we get the zones from the wave from the DPMR. All right. Being consistently profitable is possible, right? The past 35 years of my trading life have been profitable years. Each year on December 31, for 35 years, I have more money in my account than I did on January 1 of that given year. Now, some years are more profitable than others, right? Admittedly. But each year, I have been profitable. And if you have the right tools and you know when and where to use them, this could be these pieces could be taking your trading to the next level if you're new or if you're advanced. This is color-coded automation at its best, right? Here for you. Now, what happens if you don't start automating? What happens if you don't simplify and start using strategies and indicators? Well, if you don't use these, well, it's okay. You'll remain exactly where you are. But well, let's take a look at another example. QQQ, NASDAQ. Micro NASDAQ, right? Another example of the same tools and strategies used in multiple asset classes. So remember, gang, you could go NQ futures, you could go QQQ, calls, you could go micro. 11,655 to 11,997. And I hope at this point, y'all are seeing, okay, Rog, start at the bottom, uptrend. What does that tell you? Please don't short. We have a saying in my room. Not unless you hate your money, yeah? 
I know I want to be a buyer. Let's move up the chart. What's the next thing? I've got the wave mean reversion. I've got my volatility support. They both be valid. I've got a choice. And here it is. There's my entry zone. Right? Move on up. Here's my resistance. But it's still green, Ron. Can we do it again? Yeah, we can do it again. So good we did it again from... Here we go, 11,655 to 11,997. We had a Darvis help us out there, all automated. The DPMR highlights the zones that are in play. They're already on the screen, gang. Like a great batter waiting for the pitch across the plate, that's what we're doing. So this is $6,840 per contract for each trade. But please remember, like we showed before, these setups can be taken with the micro NASDAQ as well as the QQQ NASDAQ ETF with by buying calls. Yeah. All right. So let's put these pieces together. Yeah. So what, what have we learned here tonight? What have we covered? Uh, these, these are tools and strategies that will give you the clarity to effectively know when and where to get into a trade out of a trade or when to let the market go on without you. We'll kind of use that analogy of the big league hitter. What are they great at? Patience, right? The color coded automation will keep your analysis objective you'll gain confidence because there's no more emotional trading and guesswork you know whether to be a buyer you know whether to be a seller thank you multi-trend you know where the zones are thank you darvis and thank you dpmr and thank you wave right these are time tested indicators and strategies that not only work today as we're talking about but they're tools and skills that you will carry with you for years to come so all right that's all great rog but now what do I do? Where do I go learn this stuff? Now well, we got our DPMR masterclass coming up. Automated swing trading system. All right, you got the dates here. We'll cover this, what you'll be getting here with this class, with this DPMR masterclass. What is included? What do you get? Well, at the basic level, you can see here, class, the toolkit, the DPMR indicator subscription, the 30-day sector secrets mastery membership. Yep, you get to trade with me. We'll talk more about this at the pro level. 60 days in the mastery, 90 days of the DPMR subscription. Again, we update the daily price movement range very regularly to get these accurate levels, right? We're always measuring volatility at the elite level. And this is bonkers because I'm going to tell you all, gang, eventually the daily price movement range will be available a la carte. Um, it's going to be about as much as this entire class is. So we've got this strategy class, the DPMR indicator toolkit, one year of the DPMR, and a whole 90 days with me in the mastery where you can trade alongside. But by the way, gang, what if you're already a member? We have member discounts on all packages, okay? So again, same packages, member discount and and by the way you'll see right here you might see, might be saying rob okay but where do i get this if i'm a member for active members only gang the discount applies automatically on the sales page you've got to log in right and then it says hey you're a member cool here's your discount okay all right let's get into a little bit more about all this all right special member only offer Hey, my members, you know I love you. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And I want to take special care of you. We extend the membership for Sector Secrets Mastery members. You're saying, Rog, but I'm already a member. Great. We're going to add the 30 for the basic. We're going to add the 60 for the pro. We're going to add the 90 for the elite to your membership. Okay? Again, extensions applied after the purchase and it's for active Sector Secrets Mastery members only. We'll extend that. All right. Okay. The master class. This is where the journey begins. This is where all the good stuff will be revealed. This is where we start. All right. This will be our classroom time together. Four hours of breaking down each component I've spoken about tonight. We'll go over your questions as we go through each piece of the material. Get ready for loads of chart examples. You're going to leave this class with everything you need to know about where to get into a trade, out of a trade, or most importantly, stay on the sidelines. You're going to get this class, by the way, again, with every package, March 11, cannot wait, 12 to 4 Central, 1 to 5 Eastern, all right? The DPMR Toolkit, let's talk about this. That's the star of our show here. Let's talk about this DPMR Toolkit. So imagine going to school and all of your materials are included in the class. You show up, you got everything you need. That is what this is. 
with every package, you're going to get all of the tools that we've been talking about with all those chart examples and trades tonight. These are the specific indicators that I use to complement the DPMR indicator. Get that visual confidence and clarity. This is a specially curated combination of tools, and they are yours to keep once you take the class, right? The wave, the grab candles, the propulsion dots, the 2.0, sector slow stow, and golly gang, if all I was giving you was the multi-trend, that would be a game changer. Yes, I think a lot of you saw how much we rely on that thing. So that DPMR toolkit is included in all the packages. The DPMR indicator itself, all right? Of course we need this long-awaited DPMR indicator. A lot of you have seen this on my screen. Like I said, um, not only does every package come with the indicator, it also comes with that subscription to keep this thing absolutely accurate and updated. The DPMRs are dynamic, gang. Another aspect that makes these daily price movement ranges, the DPMR, so valuable is that they have to be timely, right? That's where their accuracy comes from. They need ongoing updates that are based on the movement of each symbol. Right now, we have close to 100 symbols in the pack. All the ones you're, you know, all the ones you all love, popular, liquid, option, everything from the sectors to the indices to SPX. I mean, it's a, it's a very, very beefy list. And we're always adding to it based on liquidity, based on movement, and based on requests from, from subscribers, right? So the basic 30-day subscription, the pro 90-day subscription, and gang, the elite one-year subscription. Now, I'm going to tell you at some point this will be available as a standalone. It will probably be about as much as the elite class is. So like I like to say, at the elite level, you're pretty much getting those PMRs absolutely for the year worth of updates for free. The DPMR indicator and subscription are not available anywhere else. This is an indicator that I've created. This is a specific curation of data that I am using, and I have stress tested to hell and back, okay? The pre-class toolkit and DPMR indicator setup. This is huge. March 3rd, 1 p.m. Central, 12 Eastern. Um, Okay, so in, in, in sorry, that'd be 1 p.m. Central, 2 Eastern. Remember, this session comes along with the class at all levels. And the indicator, again, is yours to keep forever and add to your library of resources. Go back to as often you like at any time. But this session is one hour with the Lorna bot. She's going to walk you through setting up the indicators and answering all your questions. Gang, this might as well be called, hey, Roggy, how do I get my charts to look like yours session? So when we meet again on Saturday for the class, you're going to have everything you need to hit the ground running and see what I see on my screen. Really, really powerful and popular in front of a class to say, okay, my charts look like Roggies now. Yeah. All right. Sector Secrets Mastery Membership. Every package includes subscription to my Sector Secrets Mastery. Basic has 30 days. Pro has 60. Elite has 90. And the mastery is where we get our work done five days a week, week in and week out, gang. We are a community of traders who are always learning and growing, and this is the home base for you to grow your trading, trading alongside me. The next best thing would just be sitting here in my office with me. All right. The next thing that we're looking at here is what else you get with your Sector Secrets Mastery membership. Remember, that comes with each one of the packages. So you take the class, you get the indicators, you're getting a certain number of updates, and you're trading with me live trading five days a week every morning we start with day trading and we move on to of course our one hour and daily swing trading short-term swing trading opportunities real-time alerts again 30 days 60 days 90 days depending on which package you get once a symbol is on my radar i'm going to post it in our alert section that means you're going to get that alert either on your simpler trading mobile app or in the room there with me and this is going to allow you to see what we are looking at to do in real time. I'm always looking ahead, which means once a swing trade is setting up, I'll give you the information before the trade is taken, right? Not as, not after, you know when I know that we wanna take the trade. All right, next is even more you get with this mastership, interactive Q&A, right? In this membership, you're gonna get the trading room that's open five days a week, so you can ask questions to myself, to the Lorna bot, share ideas with other community members and discuss what's happening in the market, right? We're an active group of traders. We're always lending each other a helping hand. If you're looking for a positive, supportive environment, this is it. The Learning Center, oh my gosh. So this whole 
mastery membership is about well mastery and as part of our mastery you have access to a library of unbelievably helpful videos bite-sized videos information that's broken down into different topics can i afford to take this trade there's a video for that how much should i risk there's a video for that and the list goes on right the learning center is put together to give you every possible resource you need to succeed in the in the map in the membership mastery membership yes there's too much to list really this is just some highlights the mastery is where you're going to put your knowledge to work and continue to grow alongside me helping you all the way all while having a support system fellow traders the lorna bot right trading does not have to be done alone all right so let's talk about our live trading sessions so live trading sessions gang are separate from the mastery Here's where we get to practice our new skills in a live environment. We have to start with education that works, right? We got theory, but what about when you actually get to test drive your knowledge in a live environment, right? These sessions for the live trading of the class gang are much slower than daily live sessions in the mastery because this is where we ride the market with well, kind of like training wheels, yeah? We take a much slower approach to learn with the whys and the hows and the nuances and the interaction while you're learning to use what you've learned in the class, right? All while having me, the teacher, right next to you. The elite, well, you get four of these sessions, right? You can't get too much practice, can you? More practice means more opportunities to successfully trade the markets. You went the extra mile in trying out your new skill set. Well, well, under the guidance of me, seasoned trader, this means identifying areas that maybe you don't understand right? You traded a couple sessions. You're in the mastery with me. Again, these are separate sessions from the mastery. Okay. This is more you're getting. And when you come back and say, gosh, I really didn't understand this, Rob, right? Need to improve this aspect of my trading. That is what these sessions are for. So you improve your abilities to manage the market with these new tools and strategies, get those aha moments, create those strong habits and minimize those errors. Yes. That's what we all want to do. All right, so what we want to remember is as we're going through these live trading sessions together, it is really a great extension in many ways of the class. Okay, but that's not it. We got more. This was something that we, we realized is really going to help a lot of traders as so many traders are going back to the office. This is included with the pro and the elite package. And this is using Toss and TradingView. This is a session with me, right? Before we begin working in a live environment, we're going to go through the two most popular trading platforms here in the simpler community and how I use them. So bring your questions, right? So Lauren is going to get your chart set up. I'm going to show you how I have managed to be a trader, not necessarily behind my desk all the time. How do we use these platforms to be able to free ourselves away from the screens as needed? This is where you're going to build an understanding of how to make the platforms work for you, or as I like to call them, make them your trading partner. Many traders are overwhelmed with the tech. I get it, right? You don't have to be an expert at these platforms. You just need certain nuances and tactics to get the most out of them. That's what I specialize in, right? How to get out of a trade, how to set up alerts, how to make your platform really do a lot of the heavy lifting for you when you can't always be in front of the screens, right? This session will make you one of the traders who isn't overwhelmed by charting and platforms, okay? You know, learn the things you need to know. Not everything, right? This is not about the kitchen sink, but needing learning the things you need to know to get the best out of your platform. All right, we have a second bonus, and I'm really excited about this. This is a long-term portfolio management. This is something that we added to the mastery in Q3 of last year, right? This is gonna be a live 90-minute session where you learn key aspects of using all the tools we talk about from DPMRs to the the wave and the grab and the propulsion in your long-term portfolios. What does that mean? Well, all of us have sort of investing portfolios, right? And while I'm not here to tell you what to do with them, I am here to show you what I do with mine. So along with how to adapt to volatile market events, how to be more tactical in any market condition, I'm going to show you how I've set myself up for growth over long time horizons. Let me give you just a quick breakdown here, gang, of this, because I'm very excited about this. Uh, I wasn't sure if we were going to do this, and then I thought this is the perfect time for it. Since September of 2022, we've added a total of five positions. You know, it's a slow process. 
to our longer term portfolio in the mastery. And each one of those positions at this point now in February is anywhere from 4% to over 20% up. And, and this, is a, this is a session where we buy shares. We talk about buying shares and building a portfolio anywhere from four to 20% since September of 2022. Each position, not the overall portfolio, each position is up that much. All right. So I'm super excited about that session. And again, it's going to be putting these tools to work. Now, by the way, I know that's a lot of sessions. And if you can't allow, attend all this live, don't sweat it. We have you covered. Every session is recorded. And it can be accessed through your member dashboard so you can watch it at your convenience. And remember, if you miss a little bit of the live trading, I'm going to be sending out alerts. And when you get the alerts, you may not be able to attend the live session, but you will get the trader idea. So again, this is what's included, gang. Basic, pro, and elite get the strategy class. Basic Pro and Elite get the DPMR Indicator Toolkit, but this is where you decide how you want to dedicate yourself to this strategy. If you want the basic and you go with 30-day DPMR Indicator subscription, so you have the best accurate DPMRs for a month, basics for you, and then a month with me in the mastery, all right, which is huge. And then we have that pre-class tech session with the Lorna bot. At the pro level, 90 days, three full months of accurate updated dpmrs will continue to update these with market movement and then you get two months with me 60 days in the mastery now remember in the mastery you're not just getting these one hour swings and the and daily short-term swings you're getting the alerts that i do for my portfolio which you're going to learn how to do and you're also going to get my day trades i know we haven't talked a lot about that but you get all that in the mastery you get the pre class tech session with LearnAbot, that long-term portfolio management, and then that bonus session on how to make your trading platform, your trading partner with me with the pro and the elite. The elite is bonkers, gang. I mean, I'm, I'm half waiting for someone to say, we're doing what at the elite level? Because gang, this alone is going to be this pretty soon. Okay. We've done, we, you know, this, for those of you that are familiar with the PMR tools, it is a subscription. You get one year of the subscription with the elite. So you get everything, the class, the toolkit, 90 days of the Sector Secrets Mastery Membership, which I I, I think, Trish, isn't that 597 a quarter? Which? The mastery, isn't that five? Yeah, it's 597 all on its own. Okay. And then you're going to get the 90 days with me in the mastery. And of course, my members, you know, I love you. You get the member discount. And again, if you're a current member, we're going to extend what you already have. So you grab the basic, you get another month with me in the mastery, the pro, you get another two months with me. So definitely not leaving my loyal VIPs behind. We just extend your current membership out, okay, which is so great. And again, once you log into the Simpler Trading website, it'll, I believe it'll recognize you and the discount will be applied automatically, okay? All right, so of course, PayPal, if you wanna go that route, cool. Click add to cart and then click on that PayPal credit, six months, if you wanna go that route. Okay, gang, so DPMR Masterclass, March 11. By the way, I do wanna mention this. When you, when you join the class tonight, hit the DPMRs. Okay, you can download those pretty much right away once you're completing the checkout process. You can join me, I think, as, as soon as tomorrow in the mastery. Okay, so if you're wondering, okay, Rock, how soon can I get started? Um, today, well, tomorrow. It's what is it, nine o'clock? Tomorrow, yeah, we're not going to trade tonight, <laughs> but yeah, you can get started right now. You'll get the DPMRs, the current version that I'm using right now, you'll get the updates for however long. Uh, you've gone with basic pro or elite and you can join me stat in the live trading. And again, we're in there five days a week. Okay. All right. So I know we have some questions and I appreciate your time tonight. I hope that this has been eye opening. This is an environment that you can succeed in. I can tell you that from what I'm doing and from what other members are doing. So let's tackle some questions, shall we? This is my favorite part. So let's do this. So first up, Dave is asking, uh, how do the DPMRs differ from the HPMRs on the one hour chart? Awesome question, Dave. Okay, think of it this way, Dave. If you had a 20 period moving average on your chart, 
and a 200. You might say, well, they're kind of the same thing, but we know the 20 period moving average would plot very different than the 200. You with me so far? They'd be at completely different price levels. They tell you completely different things. Yes, both of them are based and rooted in volatility, right? Absolutely, historical volatility. We're going back six months of behavior, but the hourly price movement ranges are for day trading only, right? In today, out today. That is what they're for. The HPMRs are really just powerful day trading levels, and they're curated from studying each hour of the day going back six months. Now, the DPMRs, the thing that we're doing now with the short-term swings, longer-term time frame, longer overnight hold, instead of looking at each hour, we're looking at each day. We're looking at six months of Mondays, six months of Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, and we're curating then the data that shows us the longer-term volatility patterns based on that. So while they might seem similar on the surface, right? The data that feeds them is completely different. The zones that they plot are completely different, right? So thank you for the question. I'm sure it's a lot of uh, one that a lot of traders have. All right. Charles asked for day trading the SPX. Is it better to use the HPMR or the DPMR? Charles, if you want to day trade, use the hourly price movement range. Absolutely. It is my day trading volatility measuring stick. Nothing better than it for day trading. But for a lot of traders, they're not day trading anymore, right? They've gone back to the office. They don't have the time to look at two minute, five minute time frames and in and out action. They want to slow things down. They want to take things overnight. It's working really well. And that's where the daily price movement ranges come in. So it depends on what you want to do. It's no right or wrong here, right? It's just a matter of what you'd like to do in terms of day trading versus short term swing trading. And what we're doing in this class is all about automating the levels for a short term swing trading system yes all right next up jake asks oh oh no sorry seymour seymour how far ahead do the dpmrs print oh great question great question seymour they're automated and they project the levels and they print at the beginning of each new day they're good for one day when i talk about accurate we really hone these in to give you the best levels for that session right for that session they're just that accurate and that sensitive right they have to be we're in volatile times yeah so they they plot at the beginning of each new session whether that be stock futures spx uh, etf what what have you all right jake asks could any tool i have indicated the rapid move down at the start of the day and the up move at 11 40 is there a way to know what the herd of algos will do Jake, that's a good question. And I'm not going to say that there's any indicator that's prescient, right? Nothing sees the future, including me. And we all know that's not always something that could happen. But you know what, Jake, here's what I can tell you. On Tuesday, I did a free video for the Simpler Trading YouTube channel. And John did too. And I think it was in John's video. Remember what happened Tuesday? We had that big sell-off on Tuesday. Does everyone remember that? And one of the questions somebody asked, somewhat in jest, but I was happy to answer it, said, hey, did your DPMR show that we were going to be selling off? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it actually did. It actually did. And I talked about it the next day in Charts and Coffee. And I said, see how the, how the price action at the beginning of the session hit the yellow range of the DPMR? You, you've all seen different examples of that kind of action. Yeah, it actually did. So will it always? No. But that big sell-off on Tuesday? The DPMRs were on it. Yes. Um, do I keep extended hours on for DPMRs? Dave, I do. I do like extended hours. Um, if I'm trading a $5,000 account, hey there, Bobby. When I trade the ES, am I trading options within the ES or am I trading the ES contracts themselves? I'll tell you what, Bobby. Um, one of the things that we talk about in the mastery, and so let me talk about the mastery for a moment. The first set of videos you're going to get from us once you get into the basic pro or elite level and you're with me for 30, 60 or 90 days, the mastery is part of this whole package, is the holy grail videos. I'm gonna show you in the mastery how I position size for specific accounts. Remember we talked about scalability early in the slide deck? We're gonna teach how to do that in the mastery. So once you understand that process from the, that we teach the mastery, you will know exactly what you'd like to do. But I can tell you just kind of on the surface, I'll probably recommend options on SPY, all right? 
Uh, David said, I love that you keep talking about risk. Keep it up. David, I got to tell you something. We didn't mention it in the slide deck, but David, I've never blown up an account. In my 35 years, I never have. I do not believe it's a rite of passage as a trader. It's unnecessary. And again, one of the most important things is building the confidence with automated levels. So you're not guessing. Focusing on the market structure. That's the multi-trend. Those are all the indicators you're getting with this class. And just accepting that we're going to lose. I talked about a 72% win rate right with these tools with this process it has a lot to do with the fact that i'm looking at a a, a tool that's plotting the 68 percent probability of price movement so that number isn't so crazy but let's think about what 72 percent means it means for every 10 trades that i take i'm gonna lose three yeah we're gonna lose we have to lose well and one of the things that we emphasize in the mastery so you're getting the master class and all the tools and then you're getting the mastery too we teach folks how to lose well we teach folks the things that I was lucky enough to learn from my mentors who said, look, you're going to lose, kiddo. That's what he used to call me, kiddo. And he said, you're going to lose. Losing well is the key, right? Losing well is the key. So if I lose three times out of seven, those should not be account destroying losses. Yeah. All right. Edward said, I've had propulsion dots for years, but I never use them because I don't understand them. And you can't trade what you don't understand. Edward, I hope this class has shown you how powerful they can be. Edward, if all you do is take those propulsion dots you have right now, we're going to get into a lot more of them in the class, but let me leave you with something you can use right away. Are you above or below the white propulsion dots? That's the 200. By the way, that's the eight exponential moving average crossing the 200. Are you above, above or below it? Think of it as the equator. Are you in the bullish or bearish hemisphere? And you're going to find just how powerful a support level they are and how much they tell you about the overall sentiment of the market. Now you start adding in the grab candles, you start adding in the wave, you start adding in the DPMRs and the multi-trend, and all of a sudden it's like you're seeing through walls. Yeah, you have just straight up x-ray vision. All right, so uh, what else do we have here? Um, with trading options, what are your expiration? 30 days, 60 days? Ah, great question, Henry. So when I'm doing daily swings, I'm going to be favoring 45 days or more, right? Uh, 45 to 90, it depends on liquidity. It depends on the quality of the trend and so forth. It depends on, the, on how much time we have to earnings. So there's some factors, but I like to have 45 days because remember under 21, time decay becomes a problem. I do not use Greeks. We keep it really simple. We use momentum. We use support and resistance. You do not have to be bogged down by Greeks if it's not something you want to be bothered by. I don't use them. Nothing wrong with them. But I can tell you, Henry, that sort of anecdotally, my delta is somewhere around 50 to 70, right? That's usually about where I end up, usually closer to 50, okay? Now, here's what's cool. When we're one hour trading, we can actually get closer expiration. So for the one hour swings, we don't need quite as much time and it doesn't take quite as much capital to trade those types of setups, which is really cool. All right, were any of those lines moving averages? Actually, they were. Actually, they were, Stephen. The 34 EMA wave is a set of moving averages. And the propulsion is not only a moving average replacement, but it's a it's a representation of exponential moving average crosses. All right, what time frames are the multi-trend referencing? Stephen, great question. Whatever time frame they're on. So if you put a multi-trend on the one hour, that is the psychology of the one hour slice of psychology, right? That's the one hour slice of time. So if it's on a one hour, it's the structure of the one hour. If it's on a five minute, it's the structure of the five minute. And if it's the daily, it's the structure of the five of the daily. It's so important to know the structure of the specific time frame that you are trading. All right, I got it's time for a big gulp of water here. Mm. All right, what is the multi-trend measuring? It's measuring momentum. There's two rows to it. Ale, it's measuring momentum. That's the top row. And trend, that's the bottom row. And we use four exponential moving averages to determine the momentum, bullish, bearish, or neutral, or the trend, bullish, bearish, or neutral. All right, how effective is the tool on shorter term timeframes? Greg, we've been testing all sorts of timeframes, 30 minute to four hour. I have found the one hour as the sweet spot, but you can use it on any time frame. Greg, you can use it on any time frame. I think some traders, uh, I don't know, Lorna, if you checked much on the 30, but here's what's cool, Greg. Different time frames are going to have 
sort of their benefit for a period of time. Once you have the DPMR subscription, if you want to apply it to a 30 minute time frame, a 15 minute time frame, a four hour time frame, you can. You can, right? So short time frames, day trading time frames, I would recommend the HPMR. But if you want to do short term swings, the DPMR, right? The DPMR. All right. Um, but again, I wouldn't use anything less than an hour. That's what we've been testing. That's what you're going to learn in the class. What have we been testing? What's working right now? And it really is that one hour. OK, so it's a swing trading strategy. Absolutely. But short term, Greg, very different than what we saw in 2020 and 20, even 2019, right, where where trends tended to last a whole lot longer in this current macroeconomic environment. By the way, I teach a macro, too, in the mastery for those of you that are, you know, really hankering for knowledge like that to demystify what's happening with the Fed right now. Um, because of the macroeconomic environment, it's a prickly one right now. Where are the rates going, when's the Federal Reserve going to stop hiking? And that's where that one hour has been really, really good, shortening the time horizon and short term swing trade, not just any swing trading, short term swing trading. All right. How do I scan for new trades? Hey there, Robert. Well, part of the alerts you get both in the live trading and in the mastery, that's kind of my job, but I do show you how I do it. There's a layout that I give you all in the mastery that shows you how I have been scanning for years. It is really simple. It's rooted in sector weighting. And once you're in the master, I'll show you what we do. It's a, by the way, it's a relative performance scanning based on stocks that are weighted heavily within the different sectors. So we can, we can look at housing, we can look at consumer discretionary, utilities, solar, semiconductors, you name it, the indices, and we go through a relative performance process. A very visual, color-coded, I know, shocking, right? Color-coded, and that we do all that in the mastery. And again, remember, again, you get the mastery with every single package. All right, um, next up. Um, Darvis made millions. Why don't more people use his stuff? Robert, that is a great question. Uh, we use the Darvis because it is that powerful. We've modernized it. We've automated it. I'm with you. And and if if, if I have a little secret... Yes, just how powerful those automated levels are. And the Darvis 2.0 that I use is going to be available in the package. I agree with you. It's a that alone is a very powerful approach. And that's just one of a handful of curated tools we have in this package. All right. How do I use four lines? Yellow, green, blue, and red. Are they moving averages? Yes, Raju. Uh, 34 EMA on the high, the close, and the low. Three moving averages, right? Uh, the, the, the red the blue and the green. By the way, that's what GRAB stands for, green, red, and blue. All right. Um, you trade the futures like the ES because um, does it have more bang for the buck and have the restriction of options? Ah, Todd, one of the things we'll get into in the class is how I trade options without the burden of the PDT, the pattern day trading rule. And yes, I think ES is amazing because of leverage. Right. And you're right. There's no pattern day trading rule in the S&P or any of the futures. But I don't have S&P. I don't have a, sorry. I don't have any restrictions. I don't have any problems with day trading or swing trading. You might say wrong. If we put on more than what is it? Three trades a week. Boom. Pattern day trading rule problem. Even when short term swing trading, not the way I'm going to show you. I don't have that problem. It's a simple fix. And we will definitely talk about that in the class. All right. Um, Clayton asks, what kind of accuracy do you have with counter trend? We don't counter trend, Clayton. Yeah, we don't counter trend trade. Half the reason for the win rate is for is because of the fact that I'm working with high probability zones, 68% probability, and I'm not fighting the trend. Okay. All right. So what else do we have here? Sorry, Dave. I'm just kind of going through these um, questions here. How do you know when it's choppy or when to stay out? Dan, great question. So Dan and, and everybody, if you're wondering, okay, Rob, how do you know when to stay out? Well, first of all, on the charts, let me just grab a chart here. On the charts, we have the different zones, right, highlighted. Let me just grab a chart here. Okay, here we go. Here's an S&P. doesn't matter if it's a stock, ETF, or futures contract. Staying out is as simple as asking myself, well, first of all, what's the trend? Because the trend is going to dictate what I'm going to do. 
Am I going to be buying? Am I going to be selling? The trend's also going to dictate, or I should say shorting. The trend's also going to dictate whether or not I'm going to use a choppy strategy or a trend following strategy. So first we get the clarity of the trend and then we know what type of style, what type of strategy we're going to use. Then we let the automation do the rest of the rest of the heavy lifting. Is price in one of the zones? Is it at a daily price movement range? Is it in the wave? Is it at the DPMR? And the patience and the accuracy come from having the levels already highlighted on the screen and waiting for price to get there. That's probably something that troubles most traders. They don't know when to do something, so they start to flail and do things unnecessarily. When you already know where the plate is, imagine you're a batter. You already know where the plate is, you know where the strike zone is, and you know where your preferred you know, high probability shot pitch is. That's what trading is, it's waiting for that. So I would say you stay out until you hit one of those levels and those levels are automated. So it's really just a waiting game. And by the way, you can place alerts on those. So let's say you don't have time to wait on a one hour daily time frame. You can place alerts so your phone buzzes at you, your laptop, your, your tablet, your desktop is buzzing at you and it tells you, hey, we're near that zone that we want to do something at. Yeah. So it's really a matter of knowing when to stay out is a function of the multi trend. Are you trending or are you chopping? You know your strategy and then you know the zone from which you need to enter based on that strategy. Until those criteria are met and they're all automated, right? Color coded. Until that criteria is met, we stay on the sidelines. And a lot of great traders will tell you, the and Jesse Livermore talked about this in Reminiscence of a Stock Operator. He used to say, it was my sitting on my hands that made me my money. And that's so true. That's so true. And this allows us to sit on our hands without the unknown, right? Without the unknown. All right. Um, so let's see what else we have here. Can you apply the DPMR to all stocks and options? Charles, you can apply the DPMR right now to approximately 100 symbols. We're always adding. I think we first started off with 40 or 50 when we were testing, and then it's it's doubled, and I won't be surprised if it keeps moving up from there. So Lorna and I focus on liquid symbols with really liquid options chains. So I'm not putting you all, enticing you all into illiquid, troublesome symbols. So no, not all, because there's no sense in plotting all, you know, what, 9,000 stocks. We focus on liquidity. We focus on high concentration weighting in those very actively watched and traded, traded sectors. Okay. Do I need the HPMR if I need the DPMR? So if you want to be a day trader, gang, HPMRs are the ticket. Right now, short-term swing trading is working really well because of how many folks saw what today uh, FOMC member Raphael Bostic did to the market at 1050 Eastern. We saw this crazy volatility out of nowhere because of things he said. The intraday trades got rocked. The one hour and the daily, because they're longer in nature, absorbed that action. There's a lot of value right now with these FOMC members talking as much as they are. There's a lot of value in having a longer term time frame, almost like a shock absorber to handle these things. Okay. All right. So what else do we have here? Um, what time frames are the multi-trend referencing? Again, whichever one they're on. Yeah, whichever time frame you're using. Whichever time frame you're using. I think we've caught up in the questions. Let me take a look here. All right. And again, gang, if you want to get your hands on the DPMR now, you can. If you want to join me in the mastery right away, you can. All right. As far as far as the DPMR as a standalone gang, it's not available yet. Right now it's available through the class. But to fight, suffice to say, um, especially with the elite, the DPMRs are going to be their own subscription, right? They need they need, you know, constant updating and you get those updates uh, through the subscription. Um, when the subscription is out. It's it's going to be, I believe, much like the HPMRs, which is going to be roughly $100 a month, which is why I was mentioned to members and non-members alike. 
this price is bananas because it pretty much is what this is going to cost, except you're getting all of this stuff. We did this with the HPMRs last June, right? And I said, hey, gang, before the office comes their senses and realizes we're essentially giving away the DPMR subscription back then it was the HPMR. I said, grab this because this is roughly going to be what the subscription alone is going to be. All right. But you're getting all this instead. So yeah, this elite is, is absolutely bonkers. If you want the DPMR subscription, if you've been watching me use it, if you've seen these examples and said, yeah, Rug, I need a volatility measuring stick. That's a no brainer because I think in about a month or whenever it is, I really don't know, to be quite frank. Um, it's going to be that by itself, roughly by itself. Okay. Like the HPMRs are like the HPMRs are, does that help? So yes, it's only available through the class, but Kang, it's a smoking deal through the class. Listen to me now, believe me later. Uh, my members know if something goes on sale here at Simpler, I tell you all, because I want you to be able to put money in your account, right? And, and trade with me. And so, yeah, that elite is, is absolutely bonkers. And I, again, my HPMR folks, if you're in the room, yeah, Rob, that's exactly what happened. And, and a lot of folks said, darn it, I wish we took advantage of it. Because after that, it was, I think, $97 a month. Okay. All right. What else do we have here? Mm. Most stocks are influenced by how the market moves. Absolutely. Um, I completely agree, Raj. Yes. HPMRs and DPMRs of a stock may be different from the SPY, QQQ, or DIA. Absolutely. Which is why we run them on so many symbols. But one of the things we like to do, Raj, is make sure that we're trading with the trend. And if we have an organized market, you, you took the example there of, say, QQQ. Apple's going to move with QQQ in a well-organized market. XLK is going to move with QQQ. So those are things we learn to understand. And you're absolutely correct. High concentration weighting rules the market. We have to see that synergy, that harmony. And so how do we handle that? We don't want to trade symbols that are not moving with the broader averages absolutely so when i have a dpmr buy on xlk apple and qqq i know i'm on the right track sure sure um do i have to update the strategy when the market environment changes absolutely not charles and here's why great question will i have to update this will this strategy keep working charles i've been using the strategy that i'm going to show you with the DPMRs for a decade. I used to have to update the DPMRs manually. It was a pain in the neck, right? What we've done in the last almost 11 months now is automate a process that I created over a decade ago. Okay. We've also improved the data. So it's just a better now automated process. The strategies I've been using for 30 plus years. And the reason it's so much easier now is you don't have to guess when the markets are choppy and you want to use an overbought or oversold strategy or when the markets are trending and you want to use a, a buy the dip or sell the rip strategy. So strategies are timeless, right? What we're doing now is we're automating and making the zone so much easier to see and slowing the process down so that swing trading is something that folks going back to the office or folks who don't want to be glued to their monitors and day trading have the ability to do, okay? really important thank you for the question so the simple answer is no because as long as we keep up with the structure changes using the multi-trend the grab candles the wave we're always going to be trading the current psychology of the market we will trade what we see not what we think and when i say see i mean that literally we're trading what we see with those automated levels okay all right so i think We've caught up on the questions. Is there anything that's popping up to you there, George? Okay. All right, gang. So as always, thank you so much for joining me for the webinar. I hope that you're thinking about structure and levels and following the trend and thinking about that one hour. Give that one hour world tomorrow. Or even better, sign up and do it with me tomorrow. Um, definitely think about shortening the time horizons, being more nimble in this environment. That's been an absolute game changer. Okay, gang. So as always, thank you so much for the time. And I will see you all out there in the market. Yes. Okay. All right, gang. Be good to each other. 
And again, the, the link for sign up, members and non-members, is simplertrading.com forward slash masterclass. Okay. All right, gang. Until next time.